checking them. Seeing. Check it out now. The evolution of the relationship between Birdman Sandusky and his son, Tunchi Kinte. Yes, that is the field slave, the cash money plantation slave that has been trying to rebel and trying to run off the plantation. But t- nope, Birdman Sandusky keep cracking the whip. He ain't going nowhere. Do the hand rub. Now, when Wayne was 14, that was a kissing face, okay? Apparently, this was some mob boss mafia type shit that entered rap where Birdman would kiss on the lips Lil Wayne, okay? It was normal. They did it all the time. It was a sign of affection and also loyalty. A lot of people said, yo, this is some, <laughs> yo, this is weird. But according to them, it was commonplace, okay? It was some Birdman Sandusky type activities. Now, Fast forward, it evolved where it's a father-son relationship. Wayne really looks up to Birdman, and I mean, they get tattoos, matching tattoos of each other, okay? When you got another man's face tattooed on your fucking body, you know that shit is serious, okay? Wayne openly admits that basically he is the son of Birdman. Birdman calls Wayne his son, okay? Then things kind of go left, all right? After Wayne went through the Carter Three period, Went through Carter 4. He quickly realized that all that money he made, he ain't seeing. And it don't look like he'll ever see. So he got a problem with Birdman. He said, yo, listen, man. Actually, it wasn't a problem with Birdman at first. It was a problem with the labels. So Cash Money reports Universal. And he's like, yo, what's going on with the money, man? Like, listen, I know I should get more money than this. Now, Birdman is saying, calm down, playboy. Let me do a couple of hand rubs. Let me talk to a couple of people. Let's see if we could get you some more bread. Eventually, Wayne linked up with his own lawyers. And by the way, this is the most surprising thing out of everything to me. How the fuck does Wayne believe in a guy so much that it takes you that long to get lawyers to go through the books? He used to be going by whatever Birdman told him as a grown-ass man. But of course, that's what happened when you call another man daddy. Now, the lawyers go through and be like, Shraggy? Uh, listen, man, you owe a shit ton of money. Actually, you owe $51 million, all right? So Wayne's tone kind of goes from what's going on to, man, fuck cash money. Now, he was very careful in saying fuck cash money because first he ain't want to say fuck Birdman. Now, cash money is really Birdman and Slim, but he kind of made it to seem like, yo, fuck the labels. Now, eventually, as his lawyer's been trying to, like, get the money from Birdman, and Birdman did an interview with Angie a couple years ago and say, listen, I might owe Wayne some money, but I don't know about no 51, okay? I might owe him, like, 10 million or something like that. And according to Lil Wayne's lawyer, fuck out of here, nigga, you owe 51. Now, that tone kind of changed a little bit because after the fuck cash money and fuck cash money kept going on by Lil Wayne, we saw them in a club together. They were cool and they were popping bottles. And Birdman says, this is my son. I'll pull up on any of you other pussy niggas jumping in our beef. Okay. That's a little bit weird, but okay. Wayne is still very respectful to Birdman. Still call him Stunner. He's still pretty much calling Pops. Now, it's evolved to the point, and where you see is that now, where Lil Wayne blatantly just jumps out the side of his face and says, man, Birdman can suck my dick, man. Okay, now here's the funny thing about this. When I first heard that, I'm like, wasn't y'all niggas doing that in the beginning? Like, this, this hold up now. Hold this. Listen, if y'all was kissing on the lips, God knows what y'all were doing. However, this is the first time we've ever seen disrespect in this form, okay? We ain't never see Wayne disrespect Birdman like this. We also got to keep in mind there's a family structure that's real family structure, like Lil Wayne's daughter, Birdman's a godfather. There's a lot of family and close family ties that's in this mix. By the way, a couple weeks ago, Wayne was pictured with Birdman's son. Like, Birdman's biological son, Wayne was hugged up with on the ground. So when you hear something like, yo, Birdman could suck my dick, you're like... What the fuck is going on? Now, see the two things going on right here, okay? Either Wayne is off some fucking prescription drug or the lean or some shit, and he's just off one and just kind of had to say some shit because he did also recently say he's down with The Rock and come to find out there's no official paperwork done. Or maybe it's at a point really of no return where he realizes Birdman ain't paying him a motherfucking coin. Birdman is not out for his best interest. And by the way, Birdman is just all about keeping the money for himself. Now, I will say this. This is according to industry sources, right? Apparently, Birdman ain't as rich as we think. And let me clarify that. Not that he doesn't have money, but he doesn't have a lot of cash on hand as we'd like to think. His money's tied up in other things. He's bought a bunch of shit. Listen, there's $3 million right now that's sitting in a fucking car called a Bugatti. 
okay? There's $20 million that's sitting in the mansion that he bought, right? He doesn't have a bunch of money just sitting in the bank to wire to Wayne. So he would have to sell shit, and of course he could sell stuff. He's selling the mansion now. But he doesn't look like he's really trying to pay Wayne at all, which that's the problem. Wayne probably has figured this out. It's been going on for two and a half years, and for him to get to the level where he's saying, Birdman sucked my dick, this is a problem. Right. But I don't think that Wayne really has too much legal ground to stand on because he wouldn't be this public about saying these things. Then number two or number one being cool with Berman the next week. And then also we don't see any movement with the lawsuit. So we'll get to see what it is, man. But Wayne is taking the disrespect to another level. Get in the comments. Please like them. Subscribe to Academics. I'm up.